What does a classic or typical day look like for someone with BPD? Yesterday, I would say, is a pretty classic day for me. Maybe a little bit uh, more challenging, but pretty typical nonetheless. I woke up on cloud nine. I was so excited. This depth of joy in myself, um, just so much passion and love for the world, for myself, for people around me. And I would say like at about a hundred. So like imagine a day when you just got some incredible news, like the best news that you've been waiting to hear and imagine what that would feel like in your body. And then after lunch, I had a conversation with someone and they gave me some challenging news to hear. And I fell from a hundred to one in like 10 seconds. And now I felt like, you know, that feeling where you feel beat up inside and it's hard to pick yourself back up off the floor. It's like a kind of sucker punch to the gut. Imagine like some really bad news that you got unexpectedly um, and what that feels like. But imagine like only a few minutes prior to that or into that moment, you were at a hundred and now you're at one. And then as the day progresses, you start to climb back up towards the 100 again. This kind of roller coaster that's kind of associated with BPD, yeah, fair enough, it's exhausting for the people we love and around us, and it is our job to, to work on, on the tools we need to regulate ourselves better. But it is hard, and I think that most people can understand that if that was their daily experience, feeling like that best elevation, elevated kind of feeling to feeling like a sucker punch to back up to back down that it would feel challenging to regulate the emotions that go along with such extreme intensity of emotions and even when people with BPD they have all the tools and they're doing all of the work just imagine how exhausting it must feel if you had to put that much effort into regulating yourself to more like say a baseline 50 all the time when you were at a one, then a hundred, then one, hundred, like I think most people could maybe understand in that more basic way how challenging that is for those with BPD. And that's, that's the best uh, way I can describe it. And hopefully that gives a little bit more empathy as well to uh, the daily struggle.